And I will tell you why I think that it will be multiplayer oriented. Let me know what you want from the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. The ending of Horizon Zero Dawn has leaked on 4chan. Don't worry, don't worry, I won't spoil it. I didn't even read it myself, why would I? But the leaker that according to himself got to mock review the game, so that means that he reviews it, but he will not publish it. So he will share his thoughts with Sony and Guerrilla Games, so they know where they stand and what they can expect from the other reviewers like IGN and GameSpot. He also heard about DLC coming to the game. First of all, it's interesting to know that the Horizon Collector's Edition includes the game, the alloy statue that looks pretty dope by the way, steelbook, an art book, um, a team, a PS4 exclusive team, and some outfits for your in-game character, but no mentions of a season pass. So I think it's safe to assume that the game will not have a season pass, and that's also according to this leaker. So this DLC that the leaker is talking about is probably a DLC pack that you have to buy separately. Anyway, he said that there will be no story DLC for the game, but something else. An arena mode slated to release in Q2 or Q3 of 2017. Hey look, it's already in the trailer. <laughs> arena mode, I think it's safe to assume that we're looking at a wave based survival mode here, uh, where every wave has new enemies that come to attack you, and in wave 5 there will be a boss enemy, something like that. The longer you survive, the higher your score will be, and maybe you can share that to a leaderboard that you can also show to your friends. Or maybe you could do this arena mode with your friends. I think that that's not a weird idea at all. We saw this recently with Rise of the Doom Predator that got an endurance mode, where you had to survive with a co-op buddy in a form while well, the main game obviously is a single player game. Wave based modes are pretty cool, but way more fun when you're playing with a friend. Uncharted 4 had a co-op wave based mode as well, and that game is also mainly a single player game. If Tomb Raider and Uncharted 4, that are like single player third person action games, can get a survival co-op mode to work, why can't Horizon Zero Dawn? It's also a third person sort of action game. Okay, it's more an RPG. Well, Final Fantasy XV, a single player game, will also get co-op DLC in the future. So, this is totally not weird and this is totally possible. You could say that it's sad that we will not see story DLC uh, if this leaker is of course correct. Well, kinda. Of course, we can't really talk about this since we haven't finished the game, but I think why we're not seeing story DLC is pretty logic. I think they're probably focusing on a sequel already, so why make story DLC then? We also saw this with the first Uncharted, all the way through Uncharted 3, and now Uncharted 4, potentially the last Uncharted game for a very long time, I mean Naughty Dog has been pretty clear about this, will get story DLC. I think it's pretty obvious that Horizon will do really well, and this could really be the new big franchise for Sony, I mean, they are pretty confident in that. Uh, I discussed if Horizon will be a success with Zack, you can watch that video by clicking on the screen. I think that they're already focusing on a new game, Guerrilla Games. I mean, they already said that this is always how they work. They start a new game when their previous title is not even out yet. With the huge amount of hype, the pre-order numbers that are probably looking great, and the fact that they already have the engine, character models, stuff like that, it would be way easier to make a new game. That would probably cost them two years if we're looking at the like kill zone timeline as well. This sequel will expand the story, so why make story DLC then? It doesn't really make sense. An arena mode though does, because it won't continue the story and won't cost as much development time as a story expansion would. Just put enemies that are already in the game in an arena, balance it a bit and let the player have fun. The co-op part would be interesting because they might experiment with this arena mode now, learn and use that knowledge for the new game. Killzone 2 didn't have a co-op mode and Killzone 3 suddenly did in their single player. If you look at the early artworks for the game, we see multiple characters hunting together. It could totally be that Horizon will have some sort of co-op in the future and that the DLC arena is just the beginning. Right now nothing is confirmed regarding the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, this is just a rumor, but I think an arena mode is totally possible. It's in the trailer like I already said, maybe even a co-op arena. I would be down for that. I will dive into the Horizon multiplayer